I'm Dr. Brett Cardonic, and today I'm going to show you some lower back exercises to help you with your workouts in the gym. Um, lower back flexibility is important because you want to keep the muscles limber, help the ligaments and tendons be more flexible, but also when you're moving the lower back you're also helping out that disc, keeping that nice and um, flexible. First one is for your lower back. The very bottom here is very simple. You're going to roll back on your hips and roll forward and you're going to continue to do that for 30 seconds moving the spine back and forth. Now if you're sitting on a chair that has a backrest on it you want to slide more towards the end of the chair so that you'll have some room behind you. So front to back just like that don't worry about your breathing just make sure you're not holding your breath. That's from the front from the side you'll see that I'm rolling back on my hips and then rolling forward. So it's front to back for 30 seconds. Now for the second exercise, we're going to be stretching the muscles in the buttocks and a little bit in the lower back, but also the, the posterior part of the thigh. This is great if you're doing lunges, uh, squats, you really want to keep these muscles flexible and again I would also do them in between the sets. For this one, you cross the ankle over the knee, you're going to lean forward, don't bounce, keep your head up like you're talking to someone and you just maintain that stretch in the lower back and the buttocks. Uh, if you need to hold the leg there, that's fine. You just don't want to push down on it because that's going to affect the hip and can even aggravate the knee. So you'll stay here for 30 seconds and you do that three times. From the side, same thing. You just keep the posture up, lean forward, keeping your head up. And you feel that stretching in the buttocks and all through the back of the thigh. I like to do these three times each. Again, you're going to do them on both sides. Um, if you're really having some low back issues, and you're finding that these two exercises aren't hitting the areas well enough, you can modify that front to back exercise and then you'll do that for 30 seconds and then you can add side to sides where you're raising the hip on one side and lowering the shoulder on the other and you go side to side for 30 seconds and then you can even make circles. You'll go clockwise and then you'll go counterclockwise, each one for 30 seconds. What you're doing is you're going front to back, side to side, circles one way and circles the other way. From the side, the first one was that front to back, side to side, you'll see me leaning in, leaning away for 30 seconds, and then the circles, you're just moving that pelvis all the way around in all directions, counterclockwise and clockwise. So those are the three exercises, absolutely do them when you're, whether you're doing yoga, Pilates, aerobics heavyweight training, lightweight training, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you want to keep the lower back flexible so it'll be there for you and you won't have that soreness after your workout.